Topical Finasteride with Minoxidil. You have probably seen them everywhere lately. Brands like Keeps, Hims, and Hemia Cosmetics all sell versions of it for treating hair loss, usually combining both Finasteride and Minoxidil into one product. Finasteride helps stop the hormone-related hair loss process, while Minoxidil promotes new hair growth, which is arguably the best combination to regrow your hair. But even though we have solid studies on their effectiveness, they are rarely accompanied by real before and after pictures, which makes it really difficult to assess their true effectiveness. After all, why should you start this treatment if you don't know exactly what to expect? Also, it is confusing to choose one of these companies as they all sell different variations of the same product. So which one is best to buy? In this video, we will look at real before and after pictures from people, which company is best to buy from, how topical finasteride compares to the pill, why it works better with minoxidil, how effective it really is, if there are any possible adverse side effects, and most importantly, the smartest way to use it. Let's start with availability. A few years ago when I was studying this channel, I made a video on topical finasteride where I explained how to make your own at home by grinding 7 finasteride pills and mixing them into a 60 milliliter minoxidil solution. In theory, that would make a 0.011% topical finasteride solution. Sounds simple, right? What I didn't know back then is that finasteride is poorly soluble in water and alcohol. It only suspends temporarily, which means that the the dose you apply each time is completely inconsistent. Commercial finasteride tablets also contain inactive ingredients, binders, fillers and coatings that don't dissolve into alcohol or propylene glycol either. This creates a grainy suspension that makes the mixture cloudy and unstable. And most seriously, it makes it impossible to know the exact dose you apply each time. Moreover, most commercial topical finasteride brands use a much higher concentration, usually around 0.1 to 0.3% finasteride. The difference is that these are professionally formulated with stabilizers and solvents that improve absorption and control systemic uptake. So I no longer recommend making your own topical finasteride solution this way because it simply doesn't work. Instead, go with a professional company that compounds it the correct way. For example, Hims offers a topical spray with a 0.3 finasteride and 6% minoxidil, mainly for receding hairlines and thinning spots. They say that most users notice improvement within three to six months. Keeps has a similar product with 0.25% finasteride and 5% minoxidil. It's a gel and they claim visible results in about four to six months. We do have rare instances where users report amazing results in just three months, such as this person who was showing his before and after results. He mentions in the video that he started seeing improvement after only three months, but we don't know exactly how long it took him to be in the state he is right now. In my experience, hair regrowth tends to be slower and and much more gradual than that. For example, one user reported impressive density improvement after only one year. Another user also saw these amazing results, but also after one year. So while I have no doubt about the effectiveness of these two drugs to regrow the hair, you should set your expectations to a much more realistic time frame, such as six months to one year. This doesn't mean though that the product isn't doing anything for the first few months. In my own case, for example, I saw the first results within 2.5 months, but my hair continued improving more up until one year, as you can see here. Many of my viewers ask me which brand is best to buy from. And while Keeps and Hims offer ingredients that do work, I think their prices around 40 to 45 dollars per bottle are simply not justified. You're mostly paying for the brand name rather than a superior formula. That's why if you ask me, I would 100% recommend going for an also good but competitive and equally high quality brand such as Hemia Cosmetics. They offer two versions, one with a lower 0.025% finasteride concentration and another stronger with a 0.1% called Finagen Plus. I've actually bought this one in the past and I can say with 100% certainty that their product is amazing for a fraction of the price of the other two brands especially since it has a shelf life of two years. And what I also like is that they push the once a day application, which is the correct dose, meaning one single bottle lasts you about 
two months. The prices are just $25.94 for the lower dose and $33.50 for the higher dose topical finasteride. A much fairer price for the product that works just as fine. Plus they also ship worldwide which is another competitive advantage compared to the other two brands which have many more shipping restrictions. So another big question I get from my audience all the time. Does topical finasteride actually work as well as the pill? Well, this one randomized control trial with more than 450 participants looked at this question. The researchers found that topical finasteride significantly improved hair count compared to placebo. And its effect was similar to that of oral finasteride, but with a much lower absorption into the bloodstream, which is entirely a desired outcome. In fact, blood levels of finasteride were 100 times lower with the topical form. That means fewer systemic effects. So a lower chance of issues such as decreased libido or erectile dysfunction. The study also reported no serious side effects linked to this treatment. Results of this treatment only without the added minoxidil are already good. In fact, here's one example of a person who used a topical finasteride solution with a 0.025% concentration and showed these amazing results after one year. What struck me to see is that he was able to regrow his hair in the temple area, which is one of the most difficult areas to recover. But if topical finasteride only provides these amazing results, you might wonder, why add minoxidil? First, when looking at anecdotal stories online of people using topical finasteride without minoxidil, you will see it also exists but much more rarely. Most users seem to use a combination of finasteride with a minoxidil solution. Well, it turns out that you should get it with minoxidil because it actually helps to enhance the finasteride absorption. One study found that minoxidil, being a vasodilator, improves how well the finasteride penetrates the scope. And on top of that, minoxidil itself enlarges hair follicles and keeps them in the growth phase longer. So when you combine them both, you are actually targeting hair loss from two angles, prevention and stimulation, which gives them a symbiotic effect. In fact, <laughs> I would go a step further and argue that it is necessary to combine both for long-term results. This is because with minoxidil only, you will regrow your hair, but lose it again in the future because you are not tackling the hair loss related hormone DHT. Then with finasteride only, you are stopping further hair loss, but not regrowing what you have lost already in the past. And this is quite evident from my own hair loss story. When I was 20 years old, I started taking only finasteride to tackle my own hair loss. Keep in mind, I was taking the finasteride pill and I did see a clear stop and even some recovery of my hairs. But many of the hairs on the temple area remained gone and were impossible to regrow with finasteride alone. Then four years later, I started also using minoxidil. And looking at the before and after, you can clearly see that I regrew many of my hairs back in the areas where it had been lost for many years. Thus, the combination of both is highly important. Now, to corroborate this with scientific data, in a study published in the International Journal of Clinical Pharmacology and Therapeutics in 2014, topical finasteride reduced scalp DHT levels by 68 to 75%, while the oral pill reduced them by 62 to 72%. That's almost the same level of DHT suppression in the scalp, but with out as much systemic hormone impact. Of course, how well it works depends on the condition of your hair follicles. If your hair follicles have been inactive for many years, it is surely harder to bring them back. But if you still have miniaturized but still existing hairs, that's a really good sign. It means that the follicles are still alive and often respond well to the treatment. That's why starting early makes such a huge difference. Let's now dive into a very tricky but a equally important question I get from my audience all the time. Does topical finasteride give you sexual side effects? When looking at the term finasteride side effects, it has been steadily increasing on Google search over the last few years. Many more people are becoming scared and skeptical about the safety of this product. Let me first start answering this question of safety with my own experience. I have never had any side effects neither from finasteride or minoxidil in my life. 
but of course it doesn't reflect the full picture because it's just one anecdotal story. So how do we answer this question? Is finasteride safe? Well, for starters, clinical studies show that overall finasteride, one milligram a day, causes sexual side effects such as decreased libido or erectile dysfunction in about three to 6% of men, compared to roughly two to 3% on placebo. In contrast, topical finasteride delivers over 100 fold lower blood concentrations and has shown under 1% incidence of sexual side effects in large randomized trials. Therefore, the evidence suggests that topical finasteride provides comparable hair regrowth to the pill with substantially lower risk of systemic side effects. So overall, it is safe to say that topical finasteride poses a great alternative to people who want to get the greatest results with the lowest chances of side effects. But I still encourage you to do the sensitive thing and always double check with your doctor. Never trust a YouTuber who is giving you advice from his home. That goes for any type of video, not just this one. As the final thought, I would like to say that like most hair loss treatments, you will need to give this one at least 6 to 12 months to judge the results. Hair growth takes time. And if there's something I have learned from my own experience, consistency is key. That's more important than anything else. If you want to check it out, I highly encourage you to use Hemia Cosmetics with either their Finagen or Finagen Plus products. They are both great at a very competitive price. Plus they ship almost worldwide, unlike keeps or hymns. What do you think about topical finasteride with minoxidil? Have you tried either versions? Let me know your experience in the comments. And if you found this breakdown helpful, consider subscribing for more evidence-based videos like this one. Until next time, I wish you a happy hair journey. Bye.